Good morning and welcome. It's Saturday. Actually, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just past noon. So good afternoon. I had a rough time getting to sleep last night and an even rougher time getting up. I set an alarm for nine and I was like, nine should be good. Like when I went to bed, that would be eight hours of sleep. Except I didn't get, I didn't get to sleep right away. So that was not ideal. And then hours went on and I was just so hot last night. I don't know why. And so alarm went off. I turned it off. I turned a couple off, set some later ones, and I did not end up like really trying to wake up until like quarter to 12. No, it must have been like 1130 because it was, it was just, it was hard. I couldn't. I was like laying in bed and like grabbed my water bottle and just like slamming as much water as I can because I know that drinking water helps wake you up. So it helped a little bit. It got me out of bed. It got me moving. I am now dressed, literally in a dress. Um, and I'm still waking up, but we are awake. Yesterday I did a bunch of sewing and other prep. So like I worked and I went to my grandma's and we were supposed to craft and then we just hung out. Um, and then I came home and I started making things. So I started working on lanyards. So these ones are all cut and pressed and pinned, or I guess clipped. And then these ones are all sewed at least that far. And then there's some more wristlets here. I was supposed to get my, my clip things in the mail today, but they've been delayed till tomorrow. So I figured I would just get ahead on things. Um, so that's where we're going. I want to sew the rest of these today, but the problem is I am almost out of this thread. I always want to call thread ink, which I think is really funny. I'm almost out of the thread. I would probably have enough to do maybe one more, but I have like another seven there. So I'm hoping to go to Fabricland today. Um, but I did make another thing, which is really cool. It's a new thing. I've just been like creating and crafting like crazy lately. So what I made are these cute little bandanas that like slip over a puppy collar for dogs so they can wear them and they'll stay secure. So I made, that's a medium and a large and an extra large <laughs> and then another extra large. This was the first one I made. I made it for my aunt's dog because he's a beast um, and also his name's Maverick, and, like top dog and it's got planes on it. Wow, that's really not focusing for me. Anyways, it's got like plane schematics on it. So I did that and then oh, it's kind of warm. I made these ones because last year at Blind Channel, I gave all the girls scrunchies in this pattern and I wanted the dogs to match. <laughs> I would have made one for Strudel last year, but I didn't know how to do it. So I just bought a pattern on Etsy um, and maybe I'll link it down below if I remember. And yeah, it worked really great. It was only five bucks, four patterns. And I probably honestly could have figured this out <laughs> with my brain, but um, you know, it works. <laughs> Anyways, I think we would make myself something to eat and also leave this room for a bit because I am sweating to death. I'll probably have to put my hair up and then we'll see what happens. Like I said, hoping to go to Fabricland to get more thread in the very least, but like also probably more fabric because we got problems. <laughs> Alrighty, so super close to the camera. Why am I so close? <laughs> um, I've been in fun crafting ironing mode. Honestly, like it's gone to the point now where I'm ironing these and ironing has become very, something just fell, very therapeutic for me. So that's kind of nice. But the one, the really big downside right now is that I've been using this ironing board so much and I use it kind of in this area. So it's really like the padding is just like, not there anymore. You can, yeah, you can see right through it. So I never thought I would say this, but I'm honestly considering getting a full-sized ironing board for a couple reasons. First of all, when I first got this ironing board, it was perfect uh, for what I needed it to do. Scrunchies fit just on it. That was like all I was making, so it was totally fine. And also where I stored it had a height restriction and it fit in there perfectly. Now, however, because I moved some things around, I now store my ironing board right there. So I could actually fit a full-sized one in there, no problem, so it wouldn't be an issue. I usually iron on the floor anyway, so that's like this space. Yeah, it'd still be tight, but it's that space. And the more I diversify in the things I'm making, the harder it is to iron on this because it is so small. So I never thought I would say that I'm 
excited to buy an ironing board. Like I only got this one out of convenience, but I think I'm kind of excited to maybe buy an ironing board. Um, I looked for a new pad cover for this to at least extend its life. <laughs> it's got like my knee out for no reason. And um, I couldn't find any online that were immediately available. I didn't look hard, not gonna lie. I did not look hard, but yeah. So that's where we're at. I'm just ironing the little wristlet guys and clipping them. Hoping to go to the fabric store in a bit here because I want to see if I can pick up some more of these. I got these online, um, a pack of 50, and they're so convenient for this. Like I mentioned the other day, I think. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and so I want to see if they have some more at the fabric store. I'm pretty sure they do because I'm pretty sure I saw them before. I was just like, this is so expensive, but they're so good, so it's worth it. Anyways, I'm going to keep on working on these guys. I probably have like another seven or so to iron. And then I might cut some of that. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna do like um, dog handkerchiefs out of that. I really wanna do a wristlet out of this cause I just, I love it. And then probably this one, maybe some lanyards too if I can. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, but like this is a favorite thing to do <laughs> to cool down when wearing a dress. <laughs> All right, do you notice anything different about me? It's the ironing board. I got the cheapest large ironing board I could find. It was 22 bucks with tax, I think. It's, I'll probably need to get a cover for it eventually, but at least this size versus this size, it'll be a little bit easier to find. I was definitely very glad to get that, but also went to Fabricland, got to use my beautiful frog bag today. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> The thing is, is I normally don't bring a purse or anything with me anywhere, but this dress has no pockets, so, which is devastating. I probably put pockets in it, blah, blah. Um, so I had to bring a bag, but I got stuff. Black thread. <laughs> White thread. <laughs> it's boring, I know. My mask. I was a full-on mood with, like, these uh, mushrooms. Could you focus my dude? Do, 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 do. There we go. These mushrooms. <laughs> And this bag and the dress, I really, I was vibing it. More white thread. <laughs> and then the thread I actually went to go get, which was this stuff here. I don't think I actually needed two spools, but um, we did it. <laughs> and then I got more clips, which is exciting. These are so expensive though. This was 18 bucks for 50. The other ones that I got, I got them online on like a really sketchy website. Turned out I got them still, but um, sketchy, but, so I was a little concerned, but I think I only paid eight bucks for them. So anyways, and then even though I really like making the wristlet things, da -da, because they, they can use up a lot of my scrap fabric that I don't quite have enough to do with any, anything with, I saw these two fat quarters and I was like, I need these. Look how adorable they are. <gasps> yes. Oh my God, I am in love. Anyways. I'm a little bit out of focus. I'm definitely in the wrong setting because this is like manual focus and we are not loving it. Anyways, I am home. It is quarter to five. I don't even know what I've done today. I mean, in all fairness, I didn't start moving until like almost noon. Uh, but I think, I think the next step is going to be to do some sewing. Wait. There was like fabric particles over. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue sewing the things that needed this. Am I still out of focus? There, there. Oh good, we got on autofocus. We had this computer, this camera for like almost over a year. We're still learning. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to do the sewing of that, but I might actually change because I'm a little warm in this dress because I do have shorts on underneath, so. We shall see what happens, but I'm excited to have a big ironing board and um, thread so we can keep on keeping on. Alrighty, so I ended up changing out of my dress, not because I got hot, because I eventually cooled down, but is because when I was cooking dinner, grease splatters everywhere is the saddest thing. So I soaked it for quite a while and it's now hanging to dry in the bathtub. Hopefully that got the grease stains out, fingers crossed. It was just like, it wasn't like a big grease stain, which is easy to clean, it was just like, dots everywhere which is so annoying but 
since then, I have been sewing. I finished a mask that I was commissioned to make. I've got all these wristlets ready to go. I just need to trim the threads. And then tomorrow, assuming all goes to plan, I will get my clip so I can finish these. I've got these wristlets ready to go as well, and these lanyards. And then I also sewed this other handkerchief for a puppy, so that can go with that pile there. And I did, because I had one last clip left, I made my first lanyard. So there it is. Look at that lanyard. We're uh, still looking like a bit of a mess here, but things are starting to come together <laughs> as I almost die tripping over that. I guess I can put that away now because we got the, the big mama here. But I'm also feeling good because like the fabric levels are coming down, which is fantastic because that used to be just crammed to the top. And yeah, I still have some down here, but we're definitely making progress in, um, in dropping the pile a little bit. And also again, like using up the little bits and bobs of stuff that probably couldn't be used for anything else. So that's exciting. Anyways, I am melting. It is uh, almost 27 degrees in my room. I've been trying to drink a lot of water, uh, but I'm feeling like my stomach is like bleh a bit today. We had burgers for dinner and my stomach was already feeling bleh. And then add the grease from the burger and then my stomach was like, oh. so that's where I've been at. And this is leaking. That's great. That is the update though. And we have been, or I have been, it's only me. I always say we, I guess because I feel like I'm bringing you along on this adventure, but I have been quite productive and I think I can probably clean up for the night. I'll probably at least put the sewing machine away. I might do some more cutting of the fabric, um, but we'll see how I feel after I trim all, trim all these threads and stuff here. It is well past the end of the night. Also, like, I did not realize my face was so red, but it has been a productive past the end of the night. It is currently 20 after one. Oops. <laughs> it's 27 degrees in my room too. So that's part of the, it's part of the reason that I wasn't too quick to go to sleep, but I will show you what I've done. I cut a bunch of these pet handkerchiefs. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, two small, uh, I think there's two, yeah, two medium, a large, an extra large, and another large. Yeah. The thing about these is they take up a surprising amount of fabric, which is great because they're great to use like ends of my fabric that otherwise like, what would I do with something this big? Uh, but because of how you have to cut them, they kind of leave a lot of negative fabric in their space. I mean, I guess I'm thinking, I, I'm understanding, my brain is now suddenly processing other ways to lay them out to cut them. Yeah, that could work. Anyways, <laughs> um, I now see. It's, but the thing is, is like the fabric that I'm using, it's not really full meters or anything. If it was full meters, it'd be a little bit easier. But I got those done. They're all ironed, pinned, ready to go. And I also cut all these guys here too, and they are ironed, clipped and also ready to go. I love, this is the fabric that I got today with like the little dead fishies. Could you focus? There we go, dead fishies and then the little micees here. Can we get a mouse? There, you look at your faces. And then we have the mermaid print and we have the mushrooms and then I just had enough of this fabric after cutting um, some handkerchiefs to make one. So I figured why not? Um, I think what I'm gonna do with some of the other remnant fabric, so like, there's like triangles that isn't enough to do much with, but I think what I might do is cut four inch squares out of that and use those and just make like random packs. Oh my God, I'm so tired. And just make like random packs of the, the face scrubby things. But for now, I think I'm gonna go sleep. I got that funny hair thing because I've had um, my headphones on all day. I've been watching uh, Homemade Wanderlust. I, I think I was talking about yesterday, um, her full, vlog playlist of the um, Continental Divide Trail. I, I don't think I've watched the whole thing. I might have just watched her like hour-long video on it, but I'm gonna sign off for the night here. Tomorrow will theoretically be a long day of sewing because like obviously these I can do, but my clips should be here at some point tomorrow, so I should be able to finish those 
and then we'll just see what is up. Maybe I'll take Monday as a day off or maybe I'll start editing some of these videos. I don't even, I don't even want to know. I don't, let's check. <laughs> so it's been like two weeks since I last post it, which means I probably have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vlogs that I need to edit. Oh, it's gonna be okay. Anyways, it's not gonna be okay if I don't go to sleep. So good night. I will see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome back. It's uh, just after 11. So I woke up at nine, which is before my alarm was set to go off. And I was so comfortable, incredibly comfortable that I was like, I'm not even tired, but I just need to lay here. And then I fell back asleep for like another hour and a half, but I am up now. We got some weird hair stuff going on. Um, I think it definitely needs a wash, but got breakfast drink going, even though like it's kind of like lunchtime, but I'm just super unmotivated to cook anything. Cause I just, I don't, I don't know what to cook. I don't know what to make. I'm very red. It's probably cause it's like 25 degrees in my room and that's what it was when I woke up. But I want to introduce you to someone who you might've met before. This is Rudy. <laughs> He's my teddy bear. Um, my grandma got him for me 2004. He was a Roots Olympic teddy bear. And um, he used to have markings that said as such, but they've all worn off. There was the, the root circle there, I guess. And then I think it was a maple leaf on this side and that said roots along here. And yes, I named him Rooty because I am just so creative. Anyways, you can see he's a little grungy, really dirty, um, and he's like 17 years old. So I decided that I wanted to give him a makeover. <laughs> And that makeover includes opening him up, you know, all the old stuffing, giving him a really good wash in the sink and letting him hang dry and then restuffing him with new stuffing. The stuffing should be arriving today. It was supposed to arrive yesterday, but uh, anyways, it's out for delivery. And so it's a little bit of a risk opening him up today um, versus waiting until I have it. But I think it should be okay. I'm a little bit concerned because I got to find the seam in the back and it's kind of hidden he's so gnarly right now so I think what I'm gonna do is start the day open him up because I need to get him washed and dried before I can restuff him but I think it should be good we're gonna be all right Rudy I hope so <laughs> I looked at sending him to um teddy bear hospitals but like it would take forever and I sleep with him every night because it was my little cuddle bug anyways let's um I guess have the breakfast drink and then get to ripping my love apart <laughs> Worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours Come Rain or shine I'll cover you up. Okay, so we've got a <laughs> very flat Rudy who looks really stupid and oh my god, like look how mad at some of this is. Blech. Um, this I'm keeping, it's his butt weight, um, so maybe I'll rinse that out. Um, but I forgot that his nose has been falling apart forever, so I might try to fix that after I give him a clean. Also, he's got some weird mouth issues going on. The stuffing that was in his nose was like everything, all the stitching in the eyes and everything had gone through it, so it was a bit of a pain. But here he is, it's, it's bath time. <laughs> All right, my little dude is just gonna sit and soak in the sink for a while. I have him in with laundry soap. I thought we had OxyClean. My mom was like, oh no, we don't. And I was like, I swear I saw it. So I managed to find it. <sighs> Thank God, because he is dirty. So I think I'm gonna leave him sitting in the laundry soap for like half an hour because he's so gross. And then I'll switch it, rinse him out, do the OxyClean, and then We'll see where we're at from there. So I think what I will likely do now is pull out my sewing machine and start sewing some of the many things I started yesterday because once the Amazon, my Amazon order comes in, um, I will have the clips and I will also have the stuffing, which is exciting. 
Also, I bet you the sound kind of sucks. It's because um, I'm charging both my mics right now. <laughs> I put it off for far too long. Alrighty, Rudy is now hanging out in his um, OxyClean bath. Um, so that's fun. He is definitely getting a lot cleaner. Um, I think he's still going to need some scrubbing because he just dirty. But I'm going to let him sit in here for a couple hours. I was reading the instructions and it said, Whoa, look how gross. I, the water looks grosser. <laughs> in real life. Anyways, those are in the instructions that said for like really soiled and like nasty, like look, like that's what color he's supposed to be and that's what color he is, um, to like leave it for one to six hours. So we're going to leave him for a while. But now I'm going to have some lunch because uh, it's two o'clock and I haven't had lunch yet because uh, I've just been sewing and working on this and I wasn't super hungry this morning. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I'll squeeze him a little bit more because yeah, he's still pretty, he's still pretty gross. It looks worse in person. Um, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so I finished my lunch. I just had some chicken burgers. And it is just about three. So my plan is to have Rudy out of the water and starting to dry by four. Because then I figure that's like six hours. Because I'm thinking like 10 o'clock tonight would be when I would stuff him. Um, <laughs> maybe a little bit later. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think I want to like fix his nose. So I'm going to have to like embroider around where his like schnoot is. And fix the mouth. So I, I assume I would probably want to do that before I stuff him back up. Because it would just be easier. I don't know. I don't know. But the point is... He's been soaking in the OxyClean for since like one, so that's like two hours. So I'm going to give him a good rinse and then I'm going to scrub him really good with a laundry soap and hope that that makes a difference. And then in the interim while I've been waiting for him to just have a spa day, I've been sewing these guys, my little wristlets, but I have a problem with this one in particular, this color, this pattern that I chose. Wow, could you focus? There. There we go. With this one, I'm almost out of thread that matches it. Ah! I might have a dark gray that I can substitute to go, like all I have to do is close these up and then sew them over the wristlet or the, the clip part. So hopefully that'll be okay. But yeah, so I think I'm going to turn off the sewing machine for now. I just have these guys left that I cut and, um, pressed last night so we're getting there and then a couple handkerchiefs as well i sewed that one but i still have i think five here so we'll do that after as well but rudy first and then i think later today i need to have a bath myself um because <laughs> uh, i don't i don't remember when i last had a shower so ugh, i should probably do laundry too i'm thinking tomorrow laundry tomorrow that's the current plan You want me to wake up I'm so glad they cushioned this stuffing with all this plastic. <laughs> Wouldn't have wanted this to get broken. <laughs> so it's actually really funny because when I was ordering it, I'd initially put a bag of 16 ounces in my... I hope you can hear me because the fans, but I had originally put a 16 ounce bag and then I saw someone say they got the 32 and it was so giant. So I was like, okay, well like 16 maybe is too much. So I, w I went for the 12 ounce, which also is still quite large, but then I started to panic like, oh, what if this is not enough? <laughs> and then um, when I was in the fabric store yesterday, I saw a 12 ounce thing. And so I was like, okay, this is good. But then seeing the size of this box, <laughs> which is like that big I was like what did I do but it's okay I also got my clippy things so that's great yay alrighty so it is quarter five and I think it is time for a solid update it's a disaster <laughs> I did finish all my handkerchiefs though so I think I've got a stack of 12 total since I started making them so that's not bad I like look how cute this one is it's so tiny it's for a little dog or maybe for a kitty cat anyway so those are done <laughs> And I've got all my <laughs> clips here. So I think what I'm going to do, because I don't need my iron anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of the box down there. 
I have to clip all the threads on here, and then what I'll probably do is spend some time clipping them together with those clips, with those clips on them, and then just start whipping through and I'll match up the colors together so I don't have to use a color, put it away, and then like three sets later, oh look, I could have used that same color. So that's where we're at there. And then over here in the bathroom, we can... <laughs> it looks like a roasted chicken. Anyways, um, I just keep coming over and squeezing out as much excess as I can, but he's starting to dry. He's not as clean as I would have hoped, but that's okay. <laughs> I think I would have had to like actually wash him in a machine, and I have washed him in a machine before, but we don't have a washer in the unit, and I just don't trust leaving him somewhere in a washer and dryer because of so nobody's ever stole my clothes, but if somebody were to steal him, I'd be very devastated. So that's where we're at. This is my dress and drying from last night that got the grease on it. So, you know, we just, we're just making a mess. We're everywhere. But yeah, I think I'm going to take a quick pause from the cause to tidy things up. Maybe I'll even make my bed because it's just a situation and I am not enjoying it. I just, I'm getting stressed out because there's just too much stuff. One day, one day I will have my own craft space and I won't have to put my sewing machine away anytime I'm not using it and ah, it'll be glorious one day, one day. All right, so current update is I have all the wristlets pinned with the, the clips on them, except for this one because I forgot to sew up the other side. I don't know, so I'll just sew it up and then do it. As I'm doing those, I only have three clips left from my first pack of 50, so that's that's exciting. And I tidied up quite a bit. See, like, we're fairly clean here. This is my bin of completed projects. And the only thing left to pin are the lanyards, but I ran out of clips because I'm putting two clips on each, which is probably excessive. But yeah, so I'll do these probably later, but it's currently quarter to six, so it's time to cook dinner. And then I do have computer commitments today at some point. I have to do invoicing and that email that I've been talking about for like 30 days, I need to send. So <laughs> I just I just need to like rip off the band-aid and send it. Like I mentioned, it's like a personal issue <laughs> email and the individual that it affects has been like texting me and I've been like no contact for a while now because of this issue. So I don't want to send it <laughs> because it's just going to open up a can of worms, but I can't move forward without so it's it's not enjoyable but so the plan I think is after dinner I will do the computer stuff rip off the band-aid and also do invoicing I don't think invoicing will be too bad because um I think I don't think there's too much stuff on Friday or this weekend and there was just one group that traveled all week that I need to do I will continue to squeeze out Rudy <laughs> occasionally he's drying pretty well worst case scenario I'll put him in um a whatchamacallit, a dry bag thing, a wash bag, and throw them in the dryer, I guess. But it's only six. He's still got another four hours to dry, and then I'll start sewing other things. That's the plan. I want to get all my sewing done today if I can, because tomorrow I want to do laundry. I want to get my room, like, pristine-ish, <laughs> and um, because Tuesday is my vaccine day, and you know the saying, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. I am preparing to come home after vaccine and just pass out for like and in the rest of the day so preparing for the worst <laughs> um hoping for the best hope that does isn't the case so I'm just gonna try to get all my chores and everything done tomorrow so I don't have to worry about on Monday if I need to just lay in bed and sleep for like six hours who knows okay so I think it's been a while since I've checked in all I've really done besides dinner was <laughs> these all I've done. I, I'm almost done those. I have the lanyard still and then I have these wristlets here and then these ones which I don't think I have enough thread for so we're just gonna leave those to the side for now but in fact we're kind of leaving everything to the side for now because I have a teddy bear <laughs> that needs to be stuffed. So it's currently 20 to 11. I end up going and throwing him in the dryer for an hour. His toesies are still a little teeny bit damp. But overall, he is dry, so I think, if you can see here, he used to have, oh my goodness, could you focus? Once upon a time, he used to have thread going over that little bit of his nose, and also his mouth is a little messed up. So I think I might try to fix that right now uh, before I stuff him, because he could use a little bit of love there. So I think that's the plan. And then I need to remember, you know, I'm going to get down now. I need to remember to sew in his butt weight <laughs> so he'll sit properly. And then I think before I start actually sewing up the back. I want to flip him inside out and just 
oh, okay, <laughs> and just sew this seam really well so that um, if anything goes wrong with this seam here, at least he won't completely fall apart. I'll probably sew that up a little bit more there as well. So that is the plan. Uh, I guess I'll get some embroidery thread out and try to fix his nose and face and then we'll see how we go. Also, he's still not super clean, but he smells so good. So he's, he's, he's gungy, but he's very clean. That's, that's what it is. Wash me in the water Cleanse me in the mercy of your love I need a heavenly I just feel like the last hour or so I've really started to struggle, like this headache has come on, also I have really bad allergies, not enjoying it, maybe it's the world's way of saying, hey, go to sleep, <laughs> that could very much be it because it's like, I think it's like 1.20, um, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to sleep and um, cuddle Rudy, hopefully I didn't stuff him too much, <laughs> and I will see you in the next one, <laughs> Good night. Bye.